Hi, what I'm going to cover today is TikTok for Business. I know a lot of us here on Instagram. We may or may not be active on Kifak Bilar. We may or may not be active on TikTok. What we're going to cover today with regards to TikTok for Business is what does that mean and why? And why businesses are moving into it. And hatta even me, uh, I'm creating content on TikTok. And no, it's not dances. I, have, I hate to disappoint you. It's not dances, uh, although it's very tempting too. But it's more about business content, what does that mean, and how I'm, I, you know, I'm trying to find ways so that I can bridge uh, connecting the video content uh, with, uh, with, the, with the business content. Of course, Neil, I'm going to do it only English, English for sure. Sometimes I squeeze in the, some of the Arabic words to make a point. It's all in English, don't worry about that. Um, uh, Neelam, are you active? <laughs> Shifti Hala, that's, that's what we do. Hala, I'm trying to figure out the, the, the media upload. I can't find them here. I'll look, I'll look at that later, although I have a bunch of videos ready. Hi, Sarah. So um, the thing is with TikTok is a lot of people think it's for kids. It's for my 16-year-old cousin or for my 12-year-old cousin. That's something that, um, that was said about Facebook before. And it's not for kids only. Yani if you keep track of the news or if you watch Hala's, Hala's videos on, on, uh, on Instagram, uh, she talks about uh, the business aspect of it. Yani, uh, the countries and governments uh, talked about this for a long time. The, uh, there's a $20 billion acquisition. Uh, so a billion, 20 with a B. Yani. So, so that's why it's a, it's a lot of money and it's a big, big, big platform. So it's not for you. And then another thing also, a lot of us on Instagram were in denial on what does TikTok mean for us and it's not for us. You will be on TikTok. Everybody who's here, uh, let me name some of you. So yalla. Rita, Lina, Nila, Nero. Hi, Sarah, Zena. Zena, you're already on TikTok. Bilal, everyone's going to be on TikTok. Everyone. Uh, yani, I know you will. The same way you move from Facebook to Instagram, you will do uh, Instagram to TikTok. However, TikTok is coming. Uh, Instagram is coming up with Reels, which is the close cousin to that. So we'll see. We'll see what that means until until it's out in the region. It's not out in the region yet. Because all of the platforms they start young and age up. You know, all of us started on Facebook first, then we moved to Instagram, running away from our you know uh, aunts and uncles and moms and bosses, and then we're going to do the same when we move uh, to uh, to TikTok. Um, one thing also that's if you're into building followers and activity uh, on uh, online, um, TikTok has a lot of a huge, uh, a huge uh, reach, organic reach. And when you post something now on TikTok, a lot of people see it. In 10 days, I got 3,000 followers on business content and how to start a business and do this. So if you have things that are more, have a broad audience like food or makeup or travel or Whatever, I'm sure there's a wider business, with wiser base than, than that than business, so you'll be able to do well if you're able to, to figure it out properly. On TikTok, and also Brahim, who pointed out here, he's, uh, he's also active on TikTok. He has uh, active content related to, it's mostly Brahim, right? The stuff that you do is about eating well and creating content. Um, so an aspect when it comes to these videos, as you can see, and if you haven't spent time on TikTok, I really, really advise you to spend time there. It's, uh, I lost an hour and a half this morning. I checked my phone for a minute. I, I, I lifted my head up. It's an hour and a half. It's gone. You, you don't know where it goes. It's, it goes because it's so fun, so engaging uh, that you spend time there. So uh, that's why uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to be there. It reminds me of early Facebook. Early, early Facebook. I don't know for those of you who were active on Facebook uh, early on in 2000. And you know, before, before your aunts and moms and bosses were on Facebook, you know, then. Uh, it was fun, funny, and it's very engaging. So definitely, definitely, I'd recommend that you spend time on it. And you don't have to dance. You don't have to do any of that. Uh, just, just engage with the content uh, that's there. From a business perspective, it's not easy. And it's not easy because the messaging that TikTok wants to do is, um, I like their messaging. It says, make TikToks, not ads. So what they're saying is, like the McDonald's one we saw, don't like post an image and do something like this. They say create something uh, of, of interest. When it, so their messaging is make TikToks, uh, not ads. So that's a, that's a very strong uh, uh, message when it comes to that. Hi, Mo. Hi, Nilam. 2007, yes. Facebook 2007, early days before uh, the aunts and moms uh, were on that, Nilam. Thank you. Um, so for those of you who are not on TikTok, take some time, maybe tonight, maybe over the weekend, and open up, just open up an account and Spend five hours there over, over a few days. 
uh, you'll see that the algorithm is very smart. So the content that you engage with, uh, they're going to they're gonna show you a lot of it very quickly. And the content that you skip very quickly through, um, the algorithm will know very quickly as well. So with only a short period of time, it will figure out, do you watch Arabic content? Do you watch English? Do you watch uh, music-related ones? Do you watch comedy? So it's, it's pretty f and it, very fast. So um, that's definitely an area for you to look at uh, when it comes to, to TikTok. Um, and you'll be earlier than the others. So there are a lot of jokes on, on, on TikTok about TikTok versus Instagram. They, they talk about, they give examples of after spending so much time on, on TikTok and I go back to Instagram, people find it boring. So that's, that's the, a lot of the trendy videos try to address this. So what I'm saying is just spend time on it. And it's not for 16 year olds. The largest, um, the largest segment, so if we're looking at the Middle East here, it's between 20, the growing segment is between 20, 24 to 35 in that range. So it's not the 16 year olds, um, the 16 year olds that, uh, that are on it. So uh, Neelam is, is asking, all right. Okay, so what Neelam is asking, what's the contra what are the, there are controversies uh, uh, around it. So, so Neelam, with, the, uh, with what's happening with TikTok globally, is it's growing very, very fast. And in terms of controversies, it's like any platform that's coming up. I mean, the, the filters are not, um, let's say, the, there are many issues that, are, that Twitter went through in the beginning, that Snapchat went through in the beginning, that Instagram, you know, it, they need time to pick up and to address a few things, but it's not that bad. You know, I'm on media every two weeks to answer questions, and it's always, a lot of it is negative. And it's not that bad, Nilam. It's not as bad as they make it sound on, uh, on the media, on the media part. And it's super fun. I would strongly recommend, Nilam that you spend some time to, under, to spend, just open up an account and browse through it. You'll be able to figure out uh, some things there. Um, so it's, it's not as, as, as controversial as, as, uh, as you think. Um, what other questions uh, 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 do we have here uh, related to, uh, to that? Would you, would you try TikTok? Have you tried it before? How's your experience? Because I talked with people today and they're like, what are you doing with my 16 year old? Why are you on the same platform that my 16 year old uh, cousin dances to? And I have to explain what it is and why. So those are some meetings that I have. So are you on TikTok? Are you active in it? Do you have questions on it? Are you worried about it? Do you have your kids on it? So, uh, hello, Saman, welcome. Um, if you're a parent and you have kids who are active on TikTok, there is a control there. If you, if you DM me on Instagram, I'll be able to explain that to you further. But there's a control there where you can specify that this is a, a, an account for a minor. You can link it to you as a, as a, as a, as a, as a parent account. Uh, you can link it to you. And uh, and you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to um, let's say filter some of the content that they get. It reduces it. It reduces the amount of of, of content uh, there. Uh, I've actually seen a, the question is I've actually seen a quiz show with a TikTok account. Um, a lot of a lot of show like TV shows, radio shows, and and personalities are trying to uh, are trying to, to to be more active on. Uh, on social, and the TikTok is one of the upcoming and video ones uh, that they're trying to do this. Zena, Zena is asking. It's tricky and difficult. Saying uh, it's tricky and difficult to reach the explore page because of the hashtags and choosing the right ones. So let me explain what the explore page is. So let's say Zena and I are not connected, and she posts something. It's in her interest that her content shows up in my feed, right? So uh, so there are tricks you try to do to get your content to, uh, to spread for, for more, more people to see it. And now is a very good time, uh, Zena, I know you're creating content in that direction. It's a very good time to get that reach. But to get on the Explore page, so one thing that has been working for me, Zena, and I found that has had some of my videos, and so I posted the video about electronic scooters, it got uh, 37,000 views. And uh, in that particular video, uh, a lot of the comments were about the usage of electronic scooters is, is expensive. It's, it was three dirhams an hour, so it's like, uh, it's like almost a dollar an hour, and it was expensive. So a lot of the comments were about, I can rent a car cheaper, and so on. So that comment and interactivity pushes the views, it push, it, uh, signals the TikTok algorithm that this video is of interest to people, and, and it's going to spread. It's going to spread very fast. 
they're going to spread it for you. And uh, so if you can find a way, uh, Zena, in your content to get people to comment, uh, a little bit controversial would help if you can, or uh, you can ask. In your case, you're looking at, uh, would you use this on your skincare? Would you do that? Would you do that? Whatever, whatever you might, you, if you're able to get them to comment very quickly, it would help to answer all of the comments. That will also, that will also signal to the uh, algorithm that you're actually uh, interactive and active. Uh, so it will definitely help, help it spread. Um, what other questions do we have about, uh, about TikTok and how it works? Uh, learn on TikTok. Yes, there's a, also, uh, you know how on YouTube now you spend, hi Yasmin, welcome, come on. Welcome, we're talking about, uh, Yasmin, now we're talking about TikTok for business. Um, so, um, remember how uh, on YouTube we started with entertainment content and music and so on, and now anything we want to learn how to do, we go on YouTube, we, we definitely find a video to do this. Um, on TikTok, there's a section called learn, learn, uh, learn on TikTok or learn from TikTok. Um, so, and and uh, TikTok globally have this, we don't have this in the region yet, where you, you have sections in it for learning, learning things that could be makeup, how to mix things and so on. And we're talking about 15 second videos or maybe 60. So for me, usually I give talks which, which are half an hour, an hour, they're deep. You know, I have to express something in 15 seconds. So it's very light, very, very light. So that's, that's, that's what makes, makes it uh, engaging. Um, and like to use. So um, if you have any questions on TikTok, try it out tonight. Tonight is our country. If you don't have anything tonight, or tomorrow, or the weekend, or there's a long weekend for those in the UAE, uh, give it a try and so on. Uh, the advertising budget is very high. It's not SME friendly. Um, and Neelam, with regards to SME and now, if you're looking at advertising, uh, TikTok is temporarily doing something where if you put in $50, they match $50. If you put in 100, they match 100. So uh, your dollar value that you put into this will double. Hi, Ahmad, Kifak. If you have TikTok questions, please go ahead and ask. We're talking about TikTok for business. Um, so Neelan, we're talking about the advertising. So they have a matching program now. So any money you put, you put in is, is matched. So this means you're doubling your money. This is one. Two, um, two, because it's an early platform and not a lot of advertisers are using it, so the cost of the ads is much less than, uh, than what you'd have on other platforms. So it's not that high, but you have to figure out the media. I think the media is the trickier part. And this is why TikTok in the Middle East, they've been um, spending a lot more time uh, trying to uh, educate businesses to do this. Uh, their team in Dubai has, has grown. There are more than 100 people in less than a year. There were 10 at the beginning of the year. Uh, Saman is asking, how can we make money on TikTok? Well, Saman, um, usually prettier, prettier faces than you and I uh, have a, a wider appeal on TikTok, so they, sp they spread easily. But I think what, what you can do, Saman, before uh, the aspect of making money is you need to have some form of popularity. And the popularity on TikTok today doesn't mean followers necessarily. So for example, I, I'm getting 70,000 views on some videos, 35,000 on some others, and, and I only have a few thousand followers. So uh, uh, this is why uh, I, uh, uh, it's not about the followers. If you're able to hit the right content, you're able to do this. Another thing, Saman, that I recommend that you do, and I've tried it a couple of times and it has helped me, uh, is that I, um, I look at the trends and I try to jump in. Some of the trends I can't because they're too, at least in my case, if I'm trying to find a business angle to it. Uh, but if you're not looking at uh, business content, something with a bit more wider appeal, there's a lot of, Saman, if you can let me know what type of content you want to make on TikTok, I'll be able to give more feedback on it. Um, Ahmed thinks it's not the right platform for your business e-commerce. Ahmed, they have a specific, uh, but it's a, paid, it's a paid ad platform. The similarly where Instagram and Facebook and Google, they have, uh, they have uh, uh, e-commerce advertisement. Uh, it's the same. Yeah, they have something similar. So Ahmed, what I like about it now temporarily is they're matching your money. So if you put in $200 uh, to run an ad, they will match it with 200 So your 200 is actually $400. And you can do conversion tracking on your products. So you put the TikTok pixel on your e-commerce website. Uh, and when you set, uh, send traffic there, you're able to track conversions and add to cart and checkouts and things like this. You can definitely do that. So Ahmed, definitely I'd recommend you, uh, you, you look at that. Hi, Hani. Hi, Hadi. Welcome. We're talking about uh, TikTok for business. 
and what you can do. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, Ahmad, definitely, definitely try it out. Um, Sam'an for marketing. If you're a marketeer trying to make money out of TikTok, I think what you can do, uh, Sam'an, is if you spend enough time on TikTok creating videos, it will spread very quickly now if you do it right. And if it spreads very quickly now because it's early, uh, it's, it's early times on TikTok, people will know you and then they're going to reach out and say, Sam'an, can you help me with my TikTok? Can you help me with my business? Can I do this? Can I do that? So I don't think you're going to be able to make money directly within TikTok as much as the leads that people will, uh, will get, uh, yeah, that you will get from people knowing you on, on, on TikTok. Uh, uh, Neelam, for the questions about that I, what I was sharing before, if you, if you go to my Instagram here, uh, if, you go to my, uh, if you go to my profile on IGTV, um, I have a series of videos. I don't think I have them in playlists. Um, I should remember to do that. I did, I've, I've given a couple of talks on TikTok and I've talked about uh, their ad formats and what they're doing and so on. And I've attended many of their online events. So the information that I have is shared from, the, from some of the official sources uh, uh, that, that I've seen. Um, so um, Ali is asking, what can an NGO with spiritual content do uh, leading to selling a book? Do you think that would work out? So you want to do many things, Ali. Uh, so, you want to sell a book, basically, related to, 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 to spiritual content, if, if, if I understand correctly. Um, you know what, Ali, I think there's a big audience that would appreciate the spiritual content, because knowing you and the type of content that you try to push or you can advise them to push on, it's not... Um, instructional spiritual uh, it's not uh, fear-based spiritual it's more of engaging it's more of on the guidance side it's more of on the uh, let's say more modern side so i think there's a lot of room for that because um, there's a huge number of people who are coming into tiktok every day a lot of them are and everybody have their own thing and what I like about it is if they like your content, they'll watch it. If not, they'll just skip right through very easily, Ali. So they'll skip through your content very quickly, which is fine. Because the algorithm knows that this type of person is not interested in spiritual content. But those who are interested in spiritual content will spend time on your, on your feed. And you'll be able to reach more and more with those. Um, I would find, I would work on finding a way. Um, you know what? I think I came across a profile. He's a pastor who's helping his church. He's a pastor who's helping his church. He, it was very organic. Uh, if I come across him again, I'll, I'll send him your way. He was a pastor who was helping his church uh, be more active and uh, to communicate. And he was trying to have like a uh, more of a, a, a modern communication look and feel. So yes, yes, there is room, Ali, uh, for sure, for sure, for this. Um, what other questions are showing up in the comments for me to ask? You're welcome, Ali. Anytime, Saman. What other questions? Um, it has a bit of everybody for everything. If, you, if you're into makeup, into food, into uh, pretty boys and girls, you have that. Uh, everything's there. Hi, Muhammad. Kifa. Um, also, uh, Ahmad, you were talking about uh, e-commerce aspects. A lot of the content on, on there are their tidbits, 15 seconds or 60 seconds, talking about tips on making money uh, with e-commerce and, and things related to this and so on. So some of it will be high level for you if you're already... Uh, uh, if you're already advertising, but, uh, uh, but you should be fine. Uh, all right, so if we don't have any more questions, I think we're good for today. What about the service industry? Services industry, how can the service industry use TikTok? Okay, let's segment that a little bit more. Um, let's say restaurants. Hi, Mira, welcome. We're talking about TikTok for business and how services uh, can use this. Uh, uh, age of audience on TikTok, I'll get to that. So uh, the question is about the service industry. So let's segment it. We have the, let's say, restaurant. Uh, so food, uh, F&B, food and beverages. Let's talk about accountants and lawyers. There's a lawyer who's in his mid-40s, white hair. He's doing very well on TikTok because he's combining humor with legal information. So he's talking about, uh, that's on the US side, right? So he's talking about, um, when you have a, a speeding ticket, what do you do? If somebody broke, uh, stole your computer, what do you do and what you can do and so on? So he's grown so popular that he has so much business coming into him from TikTok. And he's, a, you know, he's, not, he's, not an, he's not young, so it's not 
because this is not a young base, you know, it is proactively young, but uh, not, not, not a lot. So, so legal, there's room for, the, uh, for legal there. Um, accounting services, I saw a few. I did not engage with them personally because it's not my, my area of interest specifically, but if you're into that, for sure, there's room for a service uh, accounting. Uh, thank you, thank you, Mira. Is any, if you have any questions on this, Oheke, we're, we're talking about different, many, many different aspects on this. Are you active, Mira, on, on TikTok? Uh, uh, Mark, age of audience on TikTok. The most, the, the growing segment, Mark, is in the 24 to 35 range. So it's 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 not that's that's the growing that's the the growing segment, and it's a very big segment, especially here in the Middle East. So it's not your it's no longer your 15 or 16 year old cousin. Um, okay, so Mira, you're active on TikTok. Great, uh, consuming or creating content, or both. It's, it's, it's super fun. Are you spending a lot of time? Uh, we need to find a format on, on Instagram to somehow pin, pin, pin what, you, what you're talking about. Um, others in the service industry, so when it comes to food, uh, when it comes to food, food, food is easy. Food is easy because you can talk about preparation, you can talk about, in 15 seconds, you can have a, Salaam Alaikum Musa. You can talk about preparation of food, you can talk about mouth-watering stuff, you can talk about the ingredients. It's quite... Uh, quite easy, Yanni. How have you managed to break the fear of actually creating TikTok content, Ali? It was difficult. It was difficult, uh, but I sensed the opportunity. I sensed that the people who are mocking TikTok today and probably mocking me for being active on TikTok will, in two years, they're going to be active there. On, they're going to be active there on TikTok themselves. So this way, you'd have already. A two-year, uh, uh, a two-year, uh, uh, yani, uh, advantage, if you wish, on getting there. Uh, I think the problem that I found, the, the the bigger problem that I found, Ali, in my particular case, is I'm trying to do business content and, and trying to make that engaging is, is a challenge. And the second is uh, how to tie to, to existing trends. Trends could be somebody throws a shoe. And then they, they catch it, it changes clothes. So that, that's very difficult uh, to do this. Hi, Samah, Kifak. But yes, Ali, if you do a lot of that, uh, uh, you have to, yeah, we, you got you to gotta try, you got to try and get started. So uh, let's, Mira is active on TikTok. Um, you want to talk more about the algorithm? We'll talk more about the algorithm. Is this maximize the speech on the app? Hello, Mira, when it comes to the algorithm, uh, when it comes to the algorithm, it's, it's, it catches on super fast. Yani, content that, you have, that you're engaging with, they will show you more of. And just to give you an example, I had problems sleeping. I woke up very early in one of the nights, so it was, it was a messy sleep, sleeping night. And I, I was going, to, you know, I was up for an hour and a half. Most of it was on TikTok. I came across randomly on a, um, she's a Jordanian TV host. She had entertaining content, so I show, so I spent time on her. So, uh, you know, it was a random video that came my way. I, I liked it. I went to her profile, and I looked through a lot of her content. The next morning, uh, so her content was about uh, her TV show and some social observations and things like this. The next morning, a lot of the content that came my way was from Jordan. So about Jordanian humor or Jordanian social part. So it was only with engaging with one, with a lot of the videos of that TV TV host. So uh, the next morning, I got a lot. So that's, that's a very fast algorithm that's able to catch this. But since that's not necessarily my strong area, I started skipping those. So I no longer saw that. So it, it throws things at you, and it sees how you engage with that, and then it gives you more and more and more. So as a person, it, it looks at it very, very, very quickly. And, um, as a business, it's a little bit more difficult because uh, the direction that TikTok recommends is something called make TikTok not ads. Um, one of, one of the accounts that I like is um, the Washington Post, WP Washington Post. It's news. So they figured out a way where they have one person who's, who runs the account and he's able to act out some of the news. So that's a way where a business, it's an organization, it, it was able to make, uh, to make that switch. So if you're active on TikTok, uh, look at the Washington Post uh, WP. You'll be able to find them. So that's a way where it's, it's engaging 15 second to 60 second light uh, version of it. Uh, uh, of that, but, but you know, it, 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 it takes a while uh, to do so. Umira, I don't know if, you, if, you, if you're seeing this yourself or not, but this happens to me and many people I know. 
You open up TikTok, you go through this, and then you lift your head up, it's anywhere from half an hour to an hour and a half, gone. So uh, because it's engaging, because, because, because it's, 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 it's entertaining. So uh, yes. Uh, all right. Um, what other questions do we have? Um, again, about the advertising. There's an opportunity now where if you uh, if you put uh, if you put money in, they will uh, they will match that. So if you put fifty to fifty dollars in, uh, 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 they 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 will they will, def they will definitely match that. So um, yeah. So that's uh, so the advisors to do ads on TikTok. Yes, Saman, for sure, for sure. I advise them to do ads on TikTok because there's something interesting now, Saman, that they're doing is uh, Instagram had this in the beginning. Facebook did not. Hi, Lara. Uh, we're talking about TikTok for business. Welcome. Um, so Saman, about the businesses to do ads on TikTok. Yes, because you don't need an account as in a public account. You don't need to have an account and populate it and struggle with the content, especially that the content is on it. Are you up to 2K on, on uh, I'll, I'll have to look you up. Is it the same Zo'lara? Is it the same Zo'lara on, 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 on TikTok? Ah, as the media spend, my bad. Up to 2K, yes. Um, so Saman, for sure, as a business, use it. You don't need to open up your account and they match the, they match the ad spend. So if you put in $50, they'll match the 50. Put in 100, you match 100. And Lara's, uh, Lara's saying that they match up to, up to $2,000. So, uh, uh, yes. All the industries? Like, the ones I've seen in ads have been jewelry, have been food, have been apps, have been get rich quick, have been books. A lot. A lot. So, start with two, Saman. Start with one or two or three uh, industries that, that, that are of interest to Ikeani, uh, just for them to get started. And the trick is is the media part. The trick is 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 is, is the media aspect of what you can do uh, uh, with the, with the media aspect. All right. So uh, so this is this is this is Lara. If guy if you guys are active on TikTok, this is Lara. It's Lara. If you want to find her on TikTok as well, uh, she's uh, she's she's active there. If you want to follow her there, could the organic reach of TikTok be enough? For us, not need to run brand awareness campaigns. For now, yes. Yani, uh, what I'm saying is, for now, yes. Meaning that uh, now the organic reach is reminiscent of Facebook's early 2007, 8, 9, 10, early days. So when you uh, a long time ago, not a long time ago, uh, when you post on uh, Facebook, people would see it. Like if you're a brand or a business and so on, and so people would see it. Uh, but then they. Uh, they no longer now they no longer do. You have to put you put in the money, by Ali. Uh, so now if you you put in the money uh, to for for the reach to happen. But in TikTok today, it's it's not uh, it's not the case now. Now it's organic reach. Yeah, you, you put the content, uh, it goes wide. A lot of people see it. Beflush, beflush very 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 quickly. Um, so Marhaba Nuruddin, welcome. We're talking about TikTok for business. Uh, uh, for the uh, so um, as well, uh, Nurdin. Let me see if I can pin this. Uh, Nurdin is also very active on on TikTok, as well. If you want to follow him, I believe it's N O U R A L D I N. If you want to go ahead and find him and follow him on TikTok, he's been creating content there. Mira has been saying that a lot have been using TikTok for their personal brands too. HR tips, cooking tips, finance tips, study tips. Yes, uh, Mira, very valid point. Thank you uh, because. I think the trick, Mira, is it's a, at least it was a challenge for me in the beginning. It still is, Yanni. Uh, I usually go deep in my topic, uh, and uh, obviously, Yanni, I go through a lot of details and, and books and trial and error on things and so on. But TikTok, it's 15 seconds to 60, and it's it's light, it's light. So for me, it's like a bullet. It's like bullet. Uh, it's like bullets, like three or four bullets the, 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 uh, that, that that I would use uh, in a blog post or an email. It's, that's that's the whole video. So, but I have to do a scenario around it. So, yes, HR tips, as you're mentioning, uh, cooking tips, finance, studying tips, everything, fitness, uh, I, I, even the boring, you know, drier stuff. Let's say legal, accounting. I see a lot of the stuff there, and so on. So, definitely for sure, uh, for sure is that. And I've seen, and TikTok have have picked up on that, Amira. So, in in the in the global market, we don't have this in the region. You know how you have Explore and For You. They have a third page, which is the, uh, uh, it's learn. We don't have this here in the region yet. When you click on learn, it's all about tips, tips, whatever. How to become a better TV presenter, how to be a better speaker, 
finance, HR, all of that. So they've picked up, there's enough content on this that uh, uh, you see that. And there's also um, a competition now, learn on TikTok, where TikTok is gonna, in Arabic it's called Alimni TikTok, or TikTok Alimni. Uh, so they have, they, have, they have a lot of that there. Sit hala, kifik. Any tips for using hashtags on TikTok? Hala, a lot of people, they have, be like, use three, use five, use seven, don't use many, and so on. Um, what I found, Hala, uh, at least that's working for me now, and, uh, and I, uh, I suggest it for you and for others. Uh, I've been using, so, so in my case, uh, on TikTok, it's, it's purely Arabic. I've been, I've been trying to find uh, outlets for me to, to, to create content in Arabic. I've been doing that on TikTok and my, pod, my podcast. Um, so uh, what I've been doing there, I've been using hashtags that have been working well for me is, uh, so UAE and KSA related ones like uh, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, uh, Riyadh, uh, Jeddah, Dammam. Uh, in my case, because it's uh, instructional educational content, I'm using Alimni, uh, Alimni TikTok, uh, Learn TikTok, uh, TikTok Arab. So these are common uh, hashtags that have been working well for me. Uh, some people say use three, some people use five. Anyway, in my case, what I see is it's, uh, it's very limited anyway. So just use, 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 use as many, has, uh, you know, use ha- relevant hashtags there. Um, one thing I've been noticing as well that's been, that's been helping is in TikTok, there's the, uh, the trends that are there. So, for example, I tried something where there was one about dolarat, uh, 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 dolarat. It's about you know uh, spending money and how you can easily spend money and so on. I was trying to find a business angle to that. So, so there, you know, you get ideas for things uh, uh, that are there. And there was another one where uh, the wife goes annoy and annoys the husband, or the husband goes annoys the wife. They alternate. Um, I couldn't find the business angle there, but there's a lot. You know, so, but you can definitely, definitely use that. Um, uh, and just, just guys, for you to know, Hala, she is a content producer. She has her own shows, uh, her own, on her own channels, and, and on Smashy TV as well. So, if I'm going to take a guess, it's Hala Bassam. This is the way she has this here. It's on TikTok, and on Instagram. If you follow her here, she does a show every Monday at nine, if I'm not mistaken. Hala, with 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 she she publishes content on a regular basis uh, on on her on her on her IGTV. Thank you, Hala, for the question. Um, TikTok influencers versus Instagram influencers, which would you recommend that businesses reach out to nowadays? The TikTok ones are less uh, ego-wise, they're, less, they're more approachable. Uh, anytime, Hala, anytime. Thank you for your questions. So, Mira, uh, the, TikTok, the TikTok influencers, they're more approachable now because it's early days, like Instagram early days. A lot of the Instagram influencers are a little bit more. She feel halon for lack of a better word, Jenny. So the ego, the ego is there. So I think it's easier for you to do that, and not a lot of brands figured out TikTok yet, so they haven't approached the brand, the, in, the influencer brands, and so on. So definitely, definitely, I would, um, I, I would do that. Um, But the trick with Instagram, it's going to be uh, with Instagram, with TikTok, it might be a little bit more difficult to reach out to them. That's all. If they if they're not ready to put their Gmail in their bio or whatever it is, but but yes, Mira, for sure, I would reach out to the uh, to the influencers there, or uh, or or payment or payment for that. Uh, Saman, yes, for the agency with several clients, for sure. We just you know talk to your different clients, understand you know try to see see who is more open to experimenting. For those clients who are stuck up or they want to see case studies of success, so okay, uh, you know, don't waste don't waste don't waste your time with them trying to convince them on a new medium. They'll come to you. Uh, uh, they'll come to you for this. Just just to give you an example on that, Saman, I remember I was introduced to um, the head of a very large insurance company, and I was talking to him about Facebook and YouTube and what the business, what the insurance company can do and so on. And then obviously during the meeting, uh, the, but this was 2010, early early days of social media, and during the meeting. It's obvious, you know, I lost him. He was not interested and so on from his facial reaction. So what I did was I packed up and I said, look, obviously you have no interest in, in this and I've lost you in my approach of Facebook to YouTube to your business as an insurance and so on. So I said, you know, before I go, give me advice on what did I do wrong and how can I do better? Because I'm talking to other people in, in your position, Mr. CEO of a large financial company, a uh, large insurance company. Uh, so help me. He said, Ayman, you're talking about Facebook and YouTube. That's the things that, those are the things that my kids play with. Why are you talking to us as an insurance company? So that was 
so obviously there, you know, that was a lost point. And then two years later, I got a call from his assistant saying, Ayman, can you come in to talk to us? The CEO wants to see you again to talk to us about that Facebook thing that you spoke to us about two years ago. So the brands will come to that there. Shway, shway, and they'll, they'll come back, they'll come into, into that. So don't, don't try to push that. Uh, all right, I think we've covered a lot had to do with TikTok for business. Uh, I think we can wrap up. And for next time, I'll have with me a few videos to show you and I'll figure out why I don't have the media share button. And with that, I wanted to thank you for participating and coming here and for asking your questions. Thank you, Muhammad, Sam'an, Mo, Mira, Rita, Hala, Rami. Thank you very much for coming in. Ooh, if you have any questions, uh, uh, anytime on Instagram, you DM and we'll talk. So uh, thanks and we'll talk soon. We'll get, on, get on TikTok, spend a couple of hours there and uh, enjoy your time. You'll, you'll really like it. Okay, yeah, take it easy. Thanks.